Um, <clears throat> thank you all for being here and uh, for coming to celebrate a, a momentous occasion. A hundredth anniversary of anything is, is impressive, um, but to have a carousel here that's been a hundred years, is a hundred years old, is, uh, is an honor and uh, we love the heritage and we're very committed to a family fun atmosphere here at Kings Dominion, so we love that uh, we're able to continue to maintain it. Um, the carousel, or the Grand Carousel, was built a hundred years ago in 1917 by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company uh, because it found its, uh, before it found its permanent home here at KD, it operated at Riverside Park in Massachusetts and then, uh, thank you, and then at Roger Williams Park in Rhode Island until 1938. Um, we then purchased it in 1973 and it took two full years to restore before opening with the park in 1975. And it is also one of the last wooden carousels left operating in the world and has a total of 66 hand-carved horses. So why is it important to us? Well, like I said, the, current, the heritage and the commitment to family fun is uh, throughout everything that we do and we want to continue that. We want everybody that has their kids and their grandkids to come back year after year and remember, you know, this is where we did this or this is where we you know, rode that. Um, so it's, it continues to be a very important part of what we do. Um, and we have some great guests here, and I'm very, very honored to, to have them join us. Uh, we have, first of all, I will introduce uh, Lou Dean. And Lou was around in the park back in the day um, as with, with the local radio station, and he can tell you a little bit about that. So please give us a round of applause for Lou Dean. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see all of you. I know we're here today to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the carousel, this merry-go-round. And as you look around the park and you see all these thrill rides, the merry-go-round, the carousel behind me, must look a little tame to you. But consider it this way. The carousel represents the theme of King's Dominion, which is family fun. The carousel was here the day that King's Dominion opened in 1975. And at that time, I was an all-night disc jockey on WRVA and they kept us in the in the loop all of us in the media about they were going to build King's Dominion we had no idea what it was or what you see here today over in a theater not far from here they had a film going called to build a happy place and they showed bulldozers and uh, c uh, drawings of what they hoped this place would be and one of the first things they, they did was uh, they, you may have seen it as you came in, under the Eiffel Tower. I was broadcasting on weekends from underneath the Eiffel Tower. And you may wonder why a, a radio station like WRVA at that time was doing. And, and, and we, they had WRVA here because they wanted to show people that this was a family park. Not just for you, not just for your relatives, but for everyone. And just as it is today, King's Dominion wasn't just for rides, it wasn't just for food, it wasn't just for shows. It was a place for the entire family to have a day of fun and enjoyment. Now, you may look at the carousel behind me, uh, 100 years old, as an anachronism, something from another age. But consider it to be a symbol of fun for every member of your family, from the very, very young to those who dare the thrill rides. They're a little beyond me now. To those who want a more relaxing day, King's Dominion is for you. Take a ride on the carousel. If you're old enough, it'll bring back memories. If you're a first-time rider, it's an entirely different, enjoyable experience waiting for you. Go ahead, it's included in your admission. Thank you so much, Lou. Um, <clears throat> Lou joins me uh, frequently in, in our local uh, regional tourism and he's uh, such a great feature of, of everything around the Richmond and Virginia area, um, so it's an honor for him to be here. Um, I also want to introduce, uh, and this is a great honor, that uh, Mr. Dennis Spiegel, our original general manager from the park, has uh, honored us with his presence today. I don't want to take up any more of, my, of his time, so I'm going to hand it straight over to him. He's got a lot more to tell than I do. Thank you, Dennis. Thanks, Jeff. Let's give him a round of applause. It takes a lot to run one of these places, I'll tell you. He's doing a great job, well thought of in the industry. Well, thank you very much, and thank you guys for inviting me down. I'm, I'm really happy to come back. Haven't been here in a while. Uh, the first time I was here, this was the cornfield. 
and we walked it with our boots and big sticks to kill off the snakes if we found snakes and uh, we talked about building a park and we said why don't we put a tower up here put a roller coaster back here we'll have our candy apple mall and our Hanna-Barbera land and we were uh, we were kids at the time I was 27 years old when I built this park and uh, the chairman of the board sent a team of us down uh, to to do this some of the family of Jim Figley are here today and Jim was one of the uh, real brains behind this park Eric Hammond over here his dad was with the park for years too so good to see you guys and have the family out but it was a it was a great time the theme park industry was fledgling we were just learning about theme parks there weren't that many at that point in time there were only about five big parks in the United States so uh, it was a it was a different time so one of the things uh, uh, that I wanted to do was make sure that we got the best carousel my boss went out and we found three carousels uh, which were old and had deteriorated uh, to a point uh, that nobody really wanted them anymore and we paid a hundred thousand dollars a piece for these three carousels and we knew we were going to put one at uh, Kings Island we were going to put one at this park it didn't even have a name at that point in time <laughs> we, we didn't have, have Kings Dominion and uh, one at one of our other parks that we were talking about building that hadn't been named at that point neither so I climbed up in the trucks we had them stored in uh, 18 foot wheeler trucks like 10 trucks and I went through and I saw these horses that are uh, on this carousel and they were by for, far the most ornate and detailed horses that I had ever seen and Philadelphia toboggan which was a great company building uh, carousels at that time uh, confirmed that they said it was one of their most uh, uh, detailed carousels so we brought in uh, I selected this this uh, carousel my boss said fine if that's the one you guys want so we took it down in our maintenance building back in the never never land part of the park that you never get to see and we took it out and unpacked it and the horses looked like they'd been painted with brooms uh, I was telling Chad earlier our first count was we had 35 coats of paint that we could see visually see on the carousel horses so it's very thick so we took it we stripped them down to the raw wood basic wood we hired some ladies to come in from Ashland and Doswell we gave them dental technician tools like when you go to the dentist and they clean your teeth and they went through every carousel every line every every point of detail on these horses to finish them off and then we found some pictures of the early carousel and its painting and our painting team here at, at King's Dominion painted the horses to look as identical as they could to the original 1917 Philadelphia toboggan so that's what stands here today um, probably Chad if you went to sell this co uh, carousel just the horses and the drum probably be in excess of five to ten million dollars probably worth that much right now uh, I have a horse from a carousel that was appraised at eighty thousand dollars that isn't nearly this this beautiful uh, so it's a it's a great history you've got a wonderful legacy of the carousels and I should tell you what happened to the carousels was most of them burned up in fires because there were a tremendous number of fires in amusement parks back in the early uh, late 1800s and the early 1900s so uh, this is one of uh, five really remaining that have the how many horses Chad 66 66 horses so um, Caitlin thank you Lou it's great to see you my old friend Chad nice to be with you thank you for inviting us down we want to invite the clown band over now and uh, sing happy birthday to the carousel and we hope you'll join in and i'm going to not sing i'm going to turn this back over to caitlin and chad thank you very much for coming everybody
thank you so much our wonderful Clown Band and thank you all so much for being here. A couple of things, we have cupcakes if you'd like to grab one over there. Um, we have some goodies to give away to our first riders today. And one more thing, we have two horses here if you can see these. These are models of one of the original horses on the carousel and we're going to be giving these out to two lucky winners today. All you have to do is take a creative picture, not on the ride, we don't want you to take your phone out on the ride, but take one of the carousel here in the park and tweet it at us or post it to our Instagram using at Kings Dominion VA. We will pick two winners at three o'clock and we will contact you if you won. So thank you all so much for being here and have fun.